How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Anthem video. So today I want to go through the exclusive components for each javelin. These are from Masterworks and Legendary Rarity. So I'm not going to be looking at the ones that are common, uncommon, rare, epic. The only ones I care about in this video are the ones that you'll be caring about, which are the Masterworks and the Legendary. Now I know what you're going to say, Where's all the video coverage? Where's all the build videos? And where's all the reviews for weapons? They will be coming from Friday onwards. Why Friday, you ask? Well, I'm a PS4 player. I don't have access to the game. I did gain access to the early access through an Xbox One, but that didn't last long. And as such, I couldn't delve as far into the game as I wanted to to get the stuff. So with that said, from Friday onwards, expect a lot more content coming from this channel. But right now we are looking at Javelin exclusive components, Masterwork and Legendary Rarity. So Colossus, we have the Catalytic Overdrive. You gain 40% additional ability damage for 20 seconds when detonating a combo. Now this is pretty massive. It's 20 seconds. It's not like a five seconds or six seconds or something really short. You gain 40% ability damage for 20 whole seconds after detonating a combo and you'll be detonating a lot of combos. So if you're looking to build that powerhouse, this is really awesome. At the same time, you have the Demolition Tribute, which heals you for 20% when you earn a melee kill. Now, if you're a true thick boy, you will be running in shield first and smashing the crap out of everything. I'm not sure 100% if Shield Bash will work, I would assume it does, but if it doesn't it is going to be melee only, but even then that's still a detonation combo ability. So you'll be doing a lot of damage with that combo and gaining 20% of your health back. You have Emblem of Destruction, ultimate multi kills of 5 or more increases ultimate recharge rate by 3300%, which is insane. Of course in order to activate this, your ultimate needs to kill five or more enemies, so it's not something that's going to happen all the time, but if you do manage to pull it off, the rewards are more than worth it. Grand Entrance. When hard landing on the ground, an explosion erupts around the Colossus. Now by hard landing, I would assume it's when you're crashing down, or when you're overheating and you land. That way, if enemies are there, because your animation locked, they won't be able to hit you and it will stagger them enough or damage them enough to give you that few seconds of a window you need to get out of your animation lock and be able to react to the situation. A really cool component if you ask me. Stalwart's Badge. When your shield breaks, all ability damage is increased by 40% for 5 seconds. This goes really well with the Catalytic Overdrive if you manage to combine them both. They will stack. So you'll gain 80% of damage for 5 seconds if the shield breaks while you're doing a combo at the same time. And after 5 seconds it will reduce that to 40% for the remaining 15 seconds. Pretty damn awesome if you're looking for that complete colossal damage. We also have Colossus exclusive heavy assault launchers. Best defense which is a siege artillery. Armor is restored by 35% when striking an enemy with a rocket. Pretty awesome. We have Fist of the Crucible, no not the Destiny PvP, it's a flamethrower, stacking up to 5 times, flamethrower damage is increased by 40% for 10 seconds after defeating an enemy. So technically this can go up to 200% damage if you're able to take down 5 enemies within 10 seconds. I mean obviously the duration is short and I'm not sure if the duration resets after each kill, I don't think it will because then it would be completely broken. However, up to 200% damage from one ability? Holy crap, that's pretty amazing. Next we move over to the Ranger, Airborne Advantage. Your gear recharges 50% faster while hovering. This is your cooldowns for your grenade. Combined Arms, defeating an enemy with your assault launcher gear increases grenade damage by 50% for 3 seconds. Again, another really cool ability, however the fact that it's limited for 3 seconds means it's a little bit more difficult to utilise. Had it have been maybe 5 or 6 seconds, then it would have been that bit easier, but it is 50%, not 40% like the Colossus. Defensive Bulwark. 
getting three kills or more in a small window of time instantly regenerates the javelin's shields, which is pretty amazing. Get a multi-kill of three and your shields are back. I mean, what more can you ask for? Tip of the spear. Unleashing the ranger's ultimate increases all gear damage by 50% for 5 seconds. I mean, unleashing the ranger's ultimate, gaining 50% for 5 seconds, comboing straight after this, gaining 50% more damage, especially with the high impact single target attack that the ranger is specialized in, this is a complete boss destroyer. Tip of the spear, I can see, will be one that will be warranted, especially when it comes to Grandmaster 3. Vanguard's Badge. Melee kills instantly restore shields by 20%. Then we move to the Assault Launcher. Argo's Mace, which is a blast missile. An electric explosion occurs after an enemy is defeated by any means. Now whether this electric explosion is like an AoE and it encompasses other nearby enemies and damages them as well, I assume it will do, is to be seen. However, I'm going to go on the assumption that it does because that is what I believe it will do. Avengers Boon, which is a pulse blast, melee damage is increased by 110% for 20 seconds after striking an enemy. I mean that's pretty good, not sure how useful it will be, but at least for fodder enemies around you, it will be doing a lot of damage, and considering you can detonate with the melee, it can be quite powerful. Recurring Vengeance, which is a Seeker Missile. Ability cooldown is refreshed when defeating an enemy can only happen every 7.5 seconds, so there is a cooldown to this, however, the fact that you can refresh the cooldown ability completely every 7.5 seconds is pretty damn cool. Next we move over to the grenades. Last argument, which is a frag grenade, getting 2 kills or more reduces the ultimate cooldown. This would be really cool in the Tyrant Mine, especially around the final boss where all the little bugs come out at you once the boss spider goes away. You can pretty much throw your grenade and kill multiple enemies there, and your cooldown is instantly reduced. Of course, you could just combo as well there and get them all back anyway, but this is an alternative that you can use. Explosive Blaze, which is Inferno Grenade. When afflicting two or more enemies with fire, it creates a flame explosion, which again gives the ranger utility for AoE. Considering it's a single target javelin, AoE is in its forte, but this allows it to become AoE. Storm, token of the master. Damaging an enemy with a focus seal increases the damage of blast seal by 60% for 5 seconds. A little bit better than the ranger with 3 seconds, and this is for 60%. So if you have a 5 second window to unleash a hell of a lot of damage, with 60% more damage within that 5 second frame. Mark of the Wrath. While the focus seal is on cooldown, the blast seal's ability damage is increased by 50%. Now if you pair this up with Token of the Master, you're doing 110% of damage and these will stack, because this requires the focus seal to be on cooldown, whereas Token of the Master, damaging an enemy with a focus seal increases the damage of the blast seal. So this is pretty amazing. Amulet of Winter, afflicting an enemy with ice, will increase weapon damage for 20 seconds by 20%. Considering your weapons aren't exactly the forte for damage, any boost to damage at this point is pretty awesome. Tomb of Precision, electric damage is increased by 60% for 5 seconds after killing an enemy with a sniper rifle weak point shot. Now this is going to be a niche component for those that actually enjoy sniping. If sniping isn't your forte, well Tomb of Precision isn't going to be for you. Chaotic Rhyme. Frost Shards. Freezing an enemy grants the Blast Seal 125% increased damage for 20 seconds, which is a hell of a lot. Paired with a Ranger, who can do high impact single target, allowing them to combo off this with their components that can combine for another 100% additional damage on top of that. You're looking at about 250% damage. I mean, things can get really crazy here if the synergy is right. Stasis Chain, Arc Burst. Hitting an enemy with an arc burst creates an electric explosion. Pretty awesome. 10,000 stuns, which is burning orb. Stacking up to 20 times, gain 5% additional damage for 5 seconds whenever an enemy is hit. Now if you hit multiple enemies multiple times, you're looking at a 100% damage increase, which is pretty damn awesome. And then we move on to the storm exclusive blast seals. Binary Star, Living Flame, launches 2 Living Flames instead of 1. Pretty self-explanatory, and naturally it will have its own benefits of use. Finally, we move over to the Interceptor exclusive components. We have Elusive Talisman. 
using triple dash reloads equipped. Weapon. Pretty handy. Survival algorithm. Removing an allied status effect returns 20% of your shields. Has a 10 second cooldown. Pretty awesome, because the interceptor is pretty much the support role, and removing allied status effects is one of its key abilities. The fact that it can do this and at the same time recover 20% of their own shield is pretty damn amazing. Talisman of Power, hitting enemies with strike system gear will increase the damage of assault system gear by 50% for 5 seconds. I think this could be extended duration a little bit more, but still 50% is a hell of a lot of damage. Way of the Swift, hitting an enemy with your assault gear increases your strike gear damage by 50% for 5 seconds. So it's the complete reverse of talisman power. So if you trigger one after the other and after the other, depending on your cooldowns, you can actually chain 50% additional damage continuously, depending on your cooldown recovery. Interceptor exclusive strike systems, sudden death, which is the tempest strike. A flame explosion occurs when striking an enemy. That's pretty awesome considering the interceptor is the king at melee and melee is what they specialize in. Sanadine's Respite, the Plasma Star, restores 5% shields when striking an enemy in their weak point, and considering you're going to be doing a lot of striking, you'll be recovering a lot of shield quite often. Well guys, that's pretty much the exclusive components that are Masterwork and Legendary for the four Javelins. These are the ones that I've been able to find and the ones that I've been able to dig up. Let me know in the comment section below if you found any more that's not in this list. These were the ones that I was able to unearth, the ones I was able to dig up over the last few days. So I hope this has been useful to you. I hope this will help you in your journey to create that ultimate build that you're looking for. And if it has, a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share. Right guys, thanks for watching. I look forward to all your comments in the comment section below. And until next time, remain legend. Thank you.